Wayne Dyer said, relationships based upon obligation lack dignity. Hi, I'm Sharon Pope. I am the love and relationship coach for when you are struggling in a lonely and disconnected marriage and trying to figure out, can I fix it and make it feel good again? Or is the only answer to leave? So today, what we are talking about is what is my obligation inside of my marriage? This is happening a lot with my clients lately, and so it's something that I wanted to address here with you. If you like what you hear on this channel, I hope you'll subscribe. Maybe this sounds familiar to you. I'm gonna read you something that was sent to me from one of the clients in my membership group. Last night, my husband and I were discussing whether or not he would go out of his way to pick up something for me that was close to his work. I told him I felt a bit bad about asking him to do it because I know he's tired after working a 12 hour shift and they had recently been in a car accident and I guess he hurt his hand. He got a bit exasperated and said he's happy to go out of his way to do something for his wife because that's what marriage is. You do things for your spouse that you don't necessarily like in order to make that other person happy. And then in return, maybe I could show some appreciation and do something for him that I don't necessarily want to do. In her case, it was having sex with him, which is something that they hadn't been doing because they've been so disconnected. She said, I am done using sex as a way to get things in my marriage. It's something I used to consider to be my wifely duty. And I always hated that. I want sex to be about union and pleasure for both partners, not payment or obligation. So this idea that what marriage is about is that you're going to do a bunch of things for me that you may or may not want to do. And I'm supposed to do a bunch of things for you that I may or may not want to do. That's not a marriage. That's not love. Love doesn't demand anything. That's a business arrangement. And so often we get into our marriages and then where we get resentful and we create disconnection is when our partners aren't doing what we want them to do or what we think they should do. But that is rooted in this thought that when I do something for you, you now owe me. That's not what love is about. I mean, love isn't obligation. It's about, yes, of course you're going to do things for your partner, but you're going to do them in a loving way. And you're going to do them when it feels really good for you to do that. So let me give you a personal example. So my husband and I share some common interests. We both like to travel. We both always had this dream of living near the water or near the beach. So we both wanted the same thing in life. And isn't it lovely when you both want the same thing because it, there's no disagreement. So that's easy. We have a similar want and need in our relationship and we're able to meet that. Then there's the things that, you know, he would like for me to really want to do, but I don't love them myself and vice versa. So in our situation, my husband likes to go fishing. Well, this pretty face doesn't fish. So, but he does like to spend time with me, which is sweet, right? And so sometimes he's like, hey, do you want to come with me? And I'll bring a chair and a book and maybe a glass of wine or something. And he's fishing and I'm able to kind of do my thing. I'm happy to do those things for him. It doesn't, it doesn't make me unhappy to be there. It's not that I don't want to be there with him, but going out fishing is not something that I would choose to do. So there are things that maybe it's not something I would choose, but I'm glad to do those things. It, it's fine for me. And then I'm able to do those things in pure love. And by the way, then I don't have to like come back to him and go, well, you know, I went fishing with you. So now you need to do this with me. Like you need to watch gone with the wind. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I chose to go with him because I'm glad to do that. He's my husband makes him happy. It's a win but there's no obligation now. He doesn't owe me anything and I don't have to make him feel guilty about him now needing to do something for me that maybe he doesn't want to do. The last option would be 
let's say that there's something that I really want him to do and he doesn't want to do that. Like, I don't know, stay up all night talking about personal growth and relationships. Like I could do that for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> and maybe that's not something that he wants to do. And by the way, to do that for hours and hours and hours, it's not something that like, oh, darling, if it makes you happy, I'll sit there on the couch and look glazed over while you talk about personal growth and relationships. And yeah, that's not going to be any fun for him. And here is a cold, hard fact that no one really likes. Every adult gets to do whatever they want to do. Nobody likes that. Like we want to do what we want to do, but we don't really like our spouses being able to do what they want to do. And it's just the truth. They get to do whatever they want. And if it's, if it falls into the category of not one of those things that, you know what, I'm happy to do that for you because it doesn't, doesn't make me unhappy to do that. But if you're going to be miserable sitting there talking to me all night about love and relationships, then I actually don't want you to do that because then you're miserable. And if I, love you. I don't want you to be miserable just so I can get my need met. I can get that need met in other ways, right? I have lots of clients. I have lots of people who want to talk to me all day long, all night long about relationships. It doesn't have to be with my husband. So when you're thinking like, oh, I don't, I really, really don't want to do this thing that my partner wants me to do. You don't have to do it, but if you choose to do it, it's not a healthy relational thing to then hold it over their head and now feel like they owe you one. And do not even get me started on this idea of using sex as a way to get what you want or that there's this idea of a wifely duty that you now need to give it up because he did something nice for you. I will lose my manners talking about that. <laughs> so I'm not even going to go there, but I want you to really like, this is part of the stuff that I think in order for us to do relationships, well, there is a bunch of stuff that we need to unlearn about what we came into marriage thinking it was supposed to be. It marriage is not, and love is not a tit for tat. I do a bunch of miserable things for you that or things that make me miserable for you. And then in turn, you now need to do that for me. Well, congratulations. Now you have two people in a relationship that are both miserable. Here's a better solution. You both do whatever you want to do. And if you choose to do something for your partner, they don't owe you. This isn't a business arrangement. It's love and love doesn't demand anything. Love doesn't actually even require anything. And it most certainly is not based in guilt or shame, payment or reciprocity. I hope that that was helpful for you in terms of really challenging some of the unconscious ideas that we bring into our marriages that are the very things that are keeping us from being connected and creating a loving, happy, lasting relationship. If you liked what you heard here, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified when a new video gets posted, just click the red bell in the upper right corner. And if you want to take this further for yourself and potentially work with me as a private client, there is a link to an online application in the notes below this video. Take good care.